going as usual to demonstrate the full three octave chromatic scale um, with some exploration of the most common uh, notes that need vented fingerings, um, what they're like with and without the venting, and um, one or two alternative fingerings for things like C naturals. So. <laughs> That's the venti D. Needs the vent. F naturally is better with the E key vent, uh, the E flat key vented. That's F sharp with both an F key and the E flat vented. If you vary those, so. so that's the key scene, actually. Two finger one. That's the OXO XXX one with the E flat key. As you can hear, the E flat key makes a difference. The OXX one is dreadful. Flat and weak. The OXO XXX one is pretty good, especially with the E flat key. Open C sharp, vented, and not vented. And the E flat key again makes a difference to that. Second register E flat, as often on, often on Pratt and style flutes with the large and low placed C sharp hole, can balk if you play it vented. It will play reliably, but with a slightly echoey tone if you play it with left one on. And if you do it start that way and take left one off, it's okay. Often you'll find going into it from other notes that if you play it vented, uh, it just doesn't sound. Again, the E flat can make, makes a big difference to E, but it's more in tune without it. for context. F sharps again better vented but you can get away without it. C, well, top of the second register C is okay. The cross fingered harmonic of F1 is also good. Overplaying the OX, OXXX1 is flat. But it's alright if you take right three off. Again, the E flat key makes quite a difference whether it's vented or not. The Baroque 
XOX, XOX one, where the effect key does work, but its tone isn't great, you wouldn't really need it, perhaps except in some transitions. So, open C sharp, just pull fingers off, is weedy and flat. It's okay, vented with the C key. It's a bit sharp with the OXX XOO fingering. If you add right three, it's pretty good. As usual on English flutes, uh, the third octave E with OX, oh, with XX, O, OXX is flat. <laughs> on this flute, the XX, O, XX, O one without the E flat key is not bad. And it doesn't play an F like on a Brock flute. bit flat. The fingering that's like the E flat fingering but with less three raised is as usual the best available third register E. It doesn't need the G sharp key though it's flat otherwise. You can get away with the uh, XXO, XXO one though. It's not too sharp. Either F sharp um, is, is passable. Um, the one with the left hand vent is sharper than the one with the right hand vent. And the fudge fingering is pretty good as well. So it's like the F with left two off. G. G sharp. A doesn't really need the G sharp key and is slightly sharper with it. Again, one for context. High B. Just overblowing the fundamental works. Okay, there's perhaps a little sharp. And C, it's just there with the orthodox fingering, no problem.